Patients with wet age-related macular degeneration where blood and fluid accumulates under and within the retina may benefit from an injection of an anti-VEGF medication into the eye to suppress disease activity. Other conditions, such as diabetic retinopathy and retinal vein occlusions, can lead to macular edema, where small blood vessels leak fluid into the retina, causing the vision to blur. These conditions also can be treated with anti-VEGF injections into the vitreous gel of the eye. The medications are antibody fragments designed to target and suppress a protein that promotes blood vessels to grow and leak. The treatment helps to prevent ongoing damage to the retina. The fluid or blood should slowly resolve and the vision will often improve or stabilize. As the medication effects wear off, the disease activity can return and many patients will require ongoing injections to keep their eye disease stable and preserve their vision. Let me take you through an intravitreal injection in a real patient. The anti-VEGF medication is placed in a 1 cc TB syringe and a 30 or 32 gauge fine needle is placed. The air in the syringe is removed and the plunger is advanced to 0.05 cc's or milliliters. Local anesthetic drops are applied to keep the eye comfortable and 5% betadine is used to clean the surface of the eye and reduce the risk of infection. A sterile speculum keeps the eyelashes and eyelids out of the way of the injection site to keep the area clean and also reduce the risk of infection. A scleral marker can be used to identify the appropriate entry point. The medication is injected into the vitreous. This patient received a flibercept, also called ILEA. Other anti-VEGF medications include Renibizumab, called Lucentis, Bevisizumab, also called Avastin, and Brocluzizumab, also called Beovue.